Devki, a vivacious and beloved biology teacher, had always embraced life with boundless enthusiasm. She had a close-knit family, including her husband Anand and her stepdaughter Arya, whose relationship with her had been marked by distance and frostiness. Despite Devki's persistent efforts to bridge the gap, Arya remained aloof, seemingly impervious to her stepmother's warmth. One fateful day, the tranquility of their lives was shattered when a lewd video sent by a student named Mohit reached Arya's phone. Enraged, Devki impulsively threw Mohit's phone out of the classroom window, an act that would set into motion a series of tragic events. As the days passed, Arya received an invitation to a Valentine's Day party at a farmhouse, a rare social opportunity she was eager to embrace. Devki, torn between her maternal instincts and fear for Arya's safety, reluctantly granted permission for her to attend. At the party, Arya found herself the subject of unwanted attention from Mohit and his cocky friend, Charles. She firmly rebuffed their advances, publicly humiliating them. Infuriated and humiliated, Charles, Mohit, Jagan, and the watchman Babu decided to exact revenge on Arya as she left the party. They ambushed her, subjecting her to a brutal and heinous assault before callously discarding her in a drain, leaving her shattered and traumatized. Devki and Anand were devastated when they learned of Arya's horrific ordeal. Arya's resilience was awe-inspiring, as she bravely named her attackers in a statement. Inspector Matthew acted swiftly, apprehending the culprits and placing them in custody. However, the case would soon unravel, leaving Arya and her family in a state of despair. The defense argued that Arya's memory was unreliable due to her consumption of alcohol on the night of the incident. Critical evidence, such as body samples, had been collected too late, rendering them too weak to conclusively link the attackers to the crime. As a result, the judge was left with no choice but to acquit the four assailants due to a lack of concrete evidence. Arya's lawyer suggested pursuing an appeal in a higher court, but Devki had lost faith in the justice system. She watched helplessly as Arya, still reeling from the traumatic court verdict, distanced herself further from the family, lost in her pain and disillusionment. In her darkest hour, Devki's memory flashed back to a shadowy figure she had encountered on the night of Arya's assault, a private detective named DK. Despite his enigmatic aura, DK, a father himself, understood Devki's anguish and agreed to help her seek vengeance for Arya. Devki embarked on a quest for justice, beginning with a watchman who had played a sinister role in Arya's ordeal. She enlisted the support of her former students, transgender individuals who empathized with her plight. Together, they seduced and drugged the watchman, leaving him to awaken days later, traumatized and emasculated, with no recollection of his actions. Charles, the arrogant assailant, was Devki's next target. Breaking into his home, she surreptitiously mixed crushed apple seeds, a potent source of cyanide, into his fitness powder. Charles was left paralyzed and helpless. When Mohit visited Charles at the hospital, Devki, tipped off by DK, planted apple seeds and other incriminating evidence at Mohit's residence. Inspector Matthew swiftly arrested Mohit, who would soon be framed as the murderer while Charles lay on his deathbed. As Devki's campaign of retribution continued, news of each attacker's downfall made headlines. Arya watched in stunned surprise as their situations unfolded before her eyes, and she slowly began to piece together the truth. Detective Matthew, however, grew suspicious as Devki's glasses were discovered at Mohit's apartment, leading him to question her involvement in the events unfolding around the attackers. Confronting her, he warned that the fourth assailant, Jagan, was a dangerous criminal, and pursuing him posed a grave risk to her family. Undeterred, Jagan, now aware of Devki's retaliation, grew determined to eliminate her. He ruthlessly murdered DK and set his sights on Devki. Matthew, having discovered a hidden camera in DK's sunglasses, raced against time to save her. In a chilling confrontation at a snow-covered cottage in Kufuri, Jagan severed the power supply and shot Anand in the ensuing scuffle. Arya fled into the snow, with Jagan hot on her heels. Devki attempted to protect her stepdaughter, 
but the situation grew dire as Joggin closed in. Matthew intervened just in the nick of time, tackling Joggin and initiating a tense standoff. Devki found herself pointing a gun at Joggin while Matthew desperately urged her to stand down. He assured her that Anand was alive and in the hospital and that shooting Joggin would lead to her imprisonment. In the midst of this harrowing moment, Arya, hidden in the bushes, overheard Joggin's confession of how Devki had orchestrated the downfall of her attackers. Devki knew that leaving Joggin alive posed an imminent threat to her family. At this pivotal juncture, Matthew handed his gun to Devki, urging her to make the difficult choice. Devki hesitated, her heart heavy with the weight of her decision. But as Arya, overwhelmed by a flood of emotions, finally addressed her as mom for the first time, Devki summoned the strength to pull the trigger, ending Joggin's reign of terror. With Joggin defeated and justice, albeit unconventional, served, Devki and Arya's paths converged at last. The road to recovery remained long and challenging, but the bond between them had been irrevocably forged through the crucible of their shared ordeal, and they could now begin to heal together.